I just wanted to speak a little bit about my gang stalking today. At the moment, the electronic harassment is pretty much constant while I'm in my home. It's not unbearable, it's quite tolerable, tolerable most of the time. Although, they stop me from sleeping on various nights when they decide I'm not going to sleep. I Most of the night I don't sleep. It's like there's an electric current run through my brain and my mind is just activated. It's just impossible for me to sleep no matter how tired I am. But other than that, I I usually get air stalked by helicopters and low flying aircraft. Um, but it's been that's not been the case today. And the thing I've noticed recently as I seem to be followed by police quite a lot. I I even got um I was parked on a car park and the police even uh, asked me, came over and asked me a few questions what I was doing and they checked up on me to make sure I wasn't a criminal and uh, I had a driving license and things like that but this seems to be happening more and more I seem to be followed police cars seem to appear from wherever I am they seem to appear and they seem to follow me quite a lot. Not in an obvious way, but this is happening more and more. And this seems to be happening ever since I've started making videos on this channel. It's ironic really, because before I became a Christian, when I was a sinner, I, was, I took drugs, I was... You know, I did things which were criminal and the police would have had reason to follow me and watch me. Now that I'm a Christian and I I ask forgiveness from the Lord if I tell a little white lie. So, the way I see it, I cannot commit crimes anymore. All sin is a crime against God and... I feel eternally guilty for every sin I commit. So the ironic thing is, I had to become a Christian and a better person for the for the police to actually take an interest in me. I'm not saying that I am being specifically targeted because I'm a Christian, but I was targeted originally because I was looking at into the Illuminati on YouTube and mainly YouTube but other areas of the internet I was massively into conspiracy theories and I believe that's what started them harassing me and things only escalated when I became a Christian and they escalated even more when I really repented from my sin Obviously, they were surveilling me at the time, so they knew, as they know now, exactly what I'm doing, probably. But things only escalated when I became a Christian and when I repented of my sin. So, it's disguised as something else, but this is persecution for being a Christian in the Western world, in my eyes. I don't know, maybe this would be going on if I wasn't a Christian. But all I know is things intensified and got worse when I became a Christian, when I repented of my sin, when I tried to lead a proper life and do the right thing. Things escalated. So that brings me to a couple of verses in the Bible, a couple of fam famous verses, which... Every time I read them, it's like Jesus Christ is speaking to me directly. It is from the Sermon on the Mount, uh, Matthew 5. Matthew 5, 11 and 12, I think it is. 
Yes. I'm going to read them to you. Hopefully they'll give you a sense of hope and joy, as it does to me every time I read the, this scripture. And indeed, most of Jesus Christ's word, words are inspiring, to say the least. Um, I'm going to read from the King's, King James Version. I don't usually read the King James Version, but I believe to read verses like this, it's probably best to come from the King James Version. So it's Matthew 5, 11 and 12. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Now that just... Obviously, I hold Jesus Christ's words in the highest esteem possible for for what people have spoken in in the world, and for him to say something like that just gives me hope and gives me something to cling on to through the persecution I'm facing right now. And now, hopefully, someone is going to listen to this who will who will get a similar sort of sense of hope and joy at Jesus Christ's words. Again, if you're not a Christian, please come to Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, the truth and the life. Thank you for listening and God bless you.